What's up, BFP? This is uh, tip number two. We're going to talk about how to read the screen and some numbers that you can start using to help set paces, uh, knock those calories out a little quicker in your training. Okay, so check out this video on how to break down the screen and what you're looking at. All right, here is a breakdown of the screen that you see on the Echo Bike. So on the far right, we got different modes we can use. The top one's gonna be your classic Tabata timer. So eight rounds, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. The next one's gonna be a reverse Tabata. So 10 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Then you can do a custom intervals at your own rounds and time. You can do a target time. If you got a specific time you wanna be on the bike for, you can adjust over there on the left, a target distance. So we're looking at miles on that. You got target calories. If you got a certain amount of calories you want to achieve, you would hit that and then target heart rate. So if you're wearing your heart rate strap, you can kind of keep your heart rate in a certain target zone. All right. All right. So I'm going to get the bike pedaling, show you what some of these numbers mean. All right. Got it on. <clears throat> so the top numbers are gonna be your metrics. So we got your speed, we got your watts, which is gonna be your power output, and then your cadence. We're gonna focus on the watts and cadence for setting pace, and then we got your targets below, which is gonna be your, your distance, your time, and your calories. And then your heart rate would pop up on the bottom. All right, that's if you're wearing a heart rate strap, by the way. All right, so the first metric we got on the left is gonna be your speed, okay? So this number is obviously gonna go up the faster you go. It's gonna help knock out your calories. It's gonna help that cover some distance, but we're not gonna focus on that number because it fluctuates too much, okay? All right, we're gonna focus a little more on wattage and cadence. So the wattage is gonna be your power output, so how much force you can put into that bike. So the bigger, stronger you are, the more force you can put into it. So that's why some of y'all can get that number up pretty high. So a good test on this is to see what your top number is. So go 20 to 30 seconds and see how high you can get it up and see how long you can maintain that. That's gonna be your top number, all right? So this number fluctuates a lot. If you've ever watched it, it kind of goes up and down. The cadence, on the other hand, is not gonna fluctuate as much, but we can use this test, that 20 to 30 second test, to see what your top number is as well. So the cadence is gonna be your RPMs. That's gonna be revolutions per minute, how many times that bike pedal goes around. This is gonna be more useful for longer rides. So if we're doing like a two minute ride, five minute ride, <clears throat> you can use that number because it's not gonna fluctuate as much for setting a pace, okay? So most of the training we do at BFP incorporates shorter intervals on the bike, like 40 seconds, a minute, maybe two minutes, so with that being said, we're going to want to focus a little more on the wattage, that power output. So get familiar with your top number and your threshold. So that's the number that's going to be where you can maintain a certain amount of power into that bike without blowing up. Okay. The longer rides we don't do often, but if you're ever in there doing your own thing, like warming up, use your cadence. Okay. Um, so use that. Remember, they correlate with each other. So maybe you like the cadence number a little bit more. But the, the calories are always going to be the end goal for most time. So get familiar with your numbers. Know your top number. Know your thresholds. And start incorporating this into your training. Okay? These are numbers that you want to get familiar with. And it's going to help tremendously with setting a pace. Trust me. You're going to love knowing what your number is and you getting to it and you'll see that improve over time.